Hello everybody and welcome back to my IGTV channel. I am so excited to share with you this next topic and recipe. We're gonna be talking about food waste, but specifically wasting bananas. I have teamed up with Chiquita today to bring to you this amazing blog post. If you want more information, make sure you click the link in my bio. Bananas are one of the biggest grocery store contributors to food waste. The thing that I'm here to show you is how we can use bananas in a different way to prevent waste or at least eliminate how they are wasted. Make sure you chop them up, the smaller the better, and that allows for them to compost a little bit quicker. The second tip that I have for you is about freezing and just sort of the stages that we sort of experience a banana's life. So once we get to a certain brown and more ripe banana stage where they're very sweet, perfect for our digestion, that's where we wanna freeze them. So what I typically like to do is I'll peel them and I will cut them up, but don't just throw them in the freezer. Place them on a parchment wrapped cooking baking sheet. So just place them down, have them all aligned nicely in a row, plop it into your freezer, let them freeze completely, remove it, and then take them individually and place them into your favorite stasher bag, tightly sealed jar or container. You can storage them in the freezer for a really long period of time. And what this does is it actually allows us to use the banana properly. But the ways that you actually are preventing waste are by ensuring that you're setting yourself up for success through cutting them and having them in the individual slices as opposed to a really long log, which you typically need to thaw and wait for. So yeah, I think those are really good steps to beginning our journey and eliminating banana waste from our lives. And I think the last thing that we can quickly talk about is how bananas can be used in so many different ways, like polishing shoes. I've read articles that suggest that they can help whiten your teeth. I don't know. It just seems like it's a really endless fruit and we should appreciate it more. The next time you go and toss a banana, rethink the ways you can use it and remind yourself that you should just be so grateful that you have access to food in the beginning. With no further ado, I've teamed up with Chiquita, like I mentioned, to bring you this incredible banana bread granola. Let's get started. It's a super easy recipe. Plop it in one bowl. We gotta heat some stuff up really quickly and we bake it in the oven for around 24 minutes at 350 and you got yourself the best granola ever. The granola is done and it's so, so, so good. The Chiquita banana addition, perfect. It tastes like banana bread, which is never a bad thing. I would eat this in the mornings on some yogurt on top of oatmeal. I know, crazy, oats on oats, but super delicious with an additional, you know, fruity tang. I would add some caramelized bananas. You can eat it as a snack post or before you head to the gym possibilities are really endless and I'm also gonna give this a go with some oat milk so eating it like a cereal but anyways if you want the full recipe find out more about eliminating banana waste from your lifestyle click the link in my bio we'll all chat soon thanks from Chiquita Banana and I bye